Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you quickly how to replace your medicine cabinet. And um, this is how you do it. If you have an old mirrored cabinet that you're looking to get rid of and put something a little more modern in, uh, you can go with, um, first thing you do is around this edge here, there may be some paint where if the bathroom has been painted, uh, you'll have some overlapping paint um, to the medicine cabinet uh, frame here. So you'll take a razor knife and or a razor blade, just just cut that paint right there all the way around if that's the case. And then inside the medicine cabinet, so this one had four screws in it. So there, 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 and there. So, you just take those screws out. I'm gonna hold that up there. And I'll show you what is behind this medicine cabinet. So, just be careful. You don't want it falling on the counter and breaking, you know. Last thing you need is broken glass somewhere. So that comes out of the wall like that. And uh, you'll see that something on the other side of the wall was screwed through here. So what I'm gonna do is use a cutoff tool and cut these screws for when I put the new one in so they don't go through the back of the new one. Uh, not that they're long enough to do that, but you know, you don't wanna take any chances. So this one you can see that it was framed with uh, two by fours on all sides so there's not much you can do here without more demolition to make this bigger but in my other bathroom i believe we had um, two by fours on three sides the top left and right and there was nothing here so what i did if you wanted a bigger medicine cabinet as you get yourself a drywall saw like this and of course you mark your lines straight lines and then you can cut the drywall with the saw just be careful because behind here is electrical cables over here is electrical cable and they usually run along the stud so just keep in that mind when you're cutting. If there's no two by four here, just look down in the wall and see if you can see uh, the electric cable. And keep in mind that if this stud goes down, the electric might be running on the other side of the stud. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And then for this project, we're gonna repaint this bathroom. So I'm gonna take care of that little dent there and do some film and uh, so we're repainting this is the new um, cabinet that we got well it's not really a cabinet it's kind of more like a shelf so this one fits in here like a glove so I already pushed it in there once so I'm not gonna do it again cuz I want to paint before I get that all the way in there but basically it slides in there and then you see the screw holes here. So you just screw it to the stud with the supplied screws, which are in this bag. And then they give you a little wood dowel to cover the screw once you get the screws in. Uh, so keep in mind when you're ordering your new medicine cabinet that you're gonna wanna measure the width from here to here and the height from here to here so when you go looking online for a new medicine cabinet that's how you, you're gonna make sure that it fits so like I said you may want to take out your old cabinet first to see if you have room to expand it and make it a little bigger but uh, we're just gonna use this little shelf system here because we're gonna put a cabinet in over the toilet uh, that's gonna hold like the medicines and that kind of stuff so this is more of a decorative piece and then we're going to put some beadboard on the wall um, behind this door here uh, to make it to match up with the back of this so it should look nice thanks for watching i hope it helped and uh
Talk to you later.